So Jonathan Ruiz po, your accounting coach survival tip. So I'm back again. Uh, thank you so much for following my uh, Instagram account at CPA Dreams. And of course, for sharing and liking our FB page, Accounting Coach Survival Tips. So from the previous lessons, I'm going to continue. And this time, I want to share the forms of business organizations. Again, sa mga senior high school students, uh, this will be of great help to you. I'm doing this because of my gratefulness uh, for all the blessings that I'm receiving as a CPA or accounting coach. Okay? So if you have friends that uh, you think uh, these videos can help them in their journey, in their study, uh, please, please share it with them. Okay? So let's move on. So again, this is senior high school K-12 basic education curriculum. Uh, those that are ta taking specialized subjects, ABM, accountancy, business, and management. This will be useful to you because this will be your foundation. Uh, if you are going to plan to take the Bachelor of Science in Accountancy. So it will really, really be helpful. So you need to put it into your heart. And our agenda for today is forms of business organizations. Our learning outcomes, I'm going to give definition of different business organizations. We are going to differentiate it. Uh, we will give the advantages and disadvantages, disadvantages of each form. Okay. Of course, this will also be helpful if you are planning to put your own business because you are going to be able to understand what type of business organization you want to get into. Okay, so we have four different types. First is sole or single proprietorship. This is the simplest business form of all, under which one sole owner can run the business by himself. Okay, partnership. So this is where a form of business organization in which two or more people share ownership and as well uh, share the responsibility of running and managing the business. And of course, they need to distribute profits uh, according to their uh, agreements. There are different types of partnerships. So I would not uh, enumerate them, but just to give you a uh, sample is general partnership and limited partnership. So another type of business organization is corporation, which is this should meet some certain legal requirements here. Corporations are owned by different stockholders or stakeholders. They share profits and losses generated through firms' operations. Okay, so they have three distinct uh, characteristics actually. One is legal existence, second is they are limited liability. Uh, this will be uh, discussed more once you get into higher accounting and cooperatives. This one is uh, widely known as the co-op. This is an autonomous association of persons united voluntarily to meet their common economic, social, and cultural needs and aspirations. So they are democratically controlled enterprise. Okay, now let's go on to single proprietorship. So ano yung mga characteristics niya? Single ownership, no sharing of profits and loss. So Kung magpa-profits yan, ikaw lang ang makakatanggap. Kung magkakaroon ng losses yan, then ikaw lang din ang mag-shoulder. One man headache as well or one man's capital. Okay? Kung ano yung resources mo, this can come from your savings, from your other income, uh, from, from your own money or from your family or from your friends. No? Pero ikaw ang main owner. Okay, so this is with less legal formalities. Okay, so let's look at the advantages and disadvantages. So of course, there are some advantages of sole proprietorship. It is easily, you can form it for taxation purposes as well. It's gonna be easy for you. And the best part of it, because you are the sole decision maker, prompt decisions can happen on the spot. And it is easy 
for uh, to cease or stop operation, is it the solution? But there are also some disadvantages of sole proprietorship. Of course, you have limited resources, you have limited business life. In case, you know, according to study, uh, most of the startups they build in the first two to five years, most 80% 80, 80 actually, uh, because of course, because of some business expertise. Kasi ako lang mag -isa. Of course, this also, in the future, if you have, uh, if you went bankrupt, your uh, suppliers, uh, creditors, uh, they can go to you after your personal assets. So meaning, kahit personal mo na yan, not even owned by your business, since ikaw ang main owner, covered pa rin yan. So gagamitin mo pa rin yung pambayad. Okay? Second is partnership. Here, uh, medyo merong konting difference. Kasi now, you have uh, you have partners, no? Hindi ka na nag-iisa, may kasama ka na. Pero kailangan, merong forever, tama yung bibiliin mong partners. Okay? So, ano yung mga advantages and disadvantages? Of course, still, partnership is easy to form. No legal formalities ang kailangan. Partners can combine their expertise. So, mas maganda yung magko-complement yung uh, skills ninyo. Kung hindi ka magaling sa marketing, magaling siya sa marketing, magaling ka sa accounts, hindi siya magaling sa accounts. So ngayon, magagamit nyo yung mga isa't isang expertise nyo. And then, the good thing here is, you will have a combined capital and spread the responsibility of running the operations. No? And this time, you are not the sole decision maker. You need to have uh, agreement or uh, the decision will be from both of all the partners. Okay? And easier to raise funds. Mas marami kang capital kasi mas marami na kayong partners. Ano yung disadvantage? Of course, in terms of profits, kailangan magkaroon na ng division. So from the start pa lang, you need to have the agreement. Okay? Kung merong general partners, that means you will have an unlimited liability. There is a possibility as well that you will have disagreements. And partnership may dissolve if partner dies. So this will be discussed as well in, in, in uh, business law, law of corporation, of course, corporate law. But I would not uh, discuss, discuss it here. So ngayon, nakikita mo kung ano yung mga possible na i-discuss in the future for your Bachelor of Science in Accountancy. Now, corporation. So of course, these corporations, you need to meet certain legal requirements kasi you will be responsible na uh, there will be stockholders. Many of you will have a share in the corporation. The good thing here is let's look at the disadvantages and advantages. Of course, there's a possibility of double taxation. It's a disadvantage kasi kung ano yung marireceive mo from the corporation, it can be taxed as well on your side as, as personal income. And then, doon naman sa corporation, na-tax na rin siya. It can be costly to form, no? Kasi may mga payments na kailangan gawin. And more administrative duties. Kailangan mo ng mas maraming uh, funds here or maraming members. And of course, there are also advantages. Limited lang yung liability mo. They cannot go after your personal assets. You can also transfer your ownership. You can sell your shares. Uh, madaling madaling erase ang capital this time. And of course, there's also a tax benefits here. Of course, kung merong disadvantage, merong advantages. Now, let's go on to cooperatives. Like what I have said, this is a democratically controlled enterprise. It can be a utility cooperatives, it can be a retailer cooperatives, yung mga co-op na narinig mo. Actually, this is uh, sa very popular sa mga provinces. No, ginagawa talaga to para makatulong sa mga members. So what are the disadvantages and disadvantages? Advantages owned and controlled by its own users or its members. No, maganda dito is napupul yung resources for their mutual benefits or mutual gain. Or there will be also a good part of it. You will have a higher buying power. Okay, taxes, of course.
course, this is not the same as the corporation. This as disadvantage, of course, there is should be a required stable group. No, kailangan yung users and owners, they they will have a good board of directors. So differentiation, differentiation. So let's differentiate one from the other. So again, so proprietorship is in an expensive partnership is still easy. You have a shared startup cost, no? Kasi mas madali na yung sharing ng capital. And then corporation, you have a limited liability. In terms of liability, kukumpare mo sa sole proprietorship and partnership, sa corporation is uh, limited lang. They cannot go after your personal assets. Cooperative, it's very different because it's membership control. Democratic and also, of course, limited liability as well. All of them are interested in profits. No? Siyempre, kaya ka nga nagbibusiness, you are after profits. Nope. Then disadvantages. We have disadvantages. Sole proprietorship is a limited liability, higher tax rate, limited continuity, you have raising capital. Of course, partnership, unlimited liability, high tax rate, yes, closely regulated a corporation. Cooperative is a member conflict, shared control, and extensive records. Again, Rika, we define the forms of business organizations. We differentiate from each, uh, each other. And then we identify their advantages and disadvantages. So thank you, Paul. Please do like and share my FB page. Thank you so much.